I'm finishing up the last bit of my keel sections. What I'm cutting out right here are the little gaps that need to be made for the top skin connectors. Because there's going to be a four inch wide piece that bridges the top gaps. And so this little cutout right here is going to allow that piece to sit in there. And that will still keep my top flat. I made this piece uh, a quarter inch wider than this, the piece that's going to fit in there to make sure that I don't have any fitting issues when I actually go to put it together. This bottom cutout right here is for the inner uh, bottom piece. I'll show you right now how those go together. The keel will fit just like so. I always cut my slots in this case a little bit longer than I need to so that they, they fit. I've got about an extra eighth of an inch, which is not a problem. That's going to get glued and caulked anyway, so that's going to go just like so, right down the center line. I'll have to pull the bow out of it, but uh, I won't be able to do that until I get all my bulkheads cut, because the bulkheads are what is going to keep this keel straight down the middle. Now I'm cutting out all of the bulkheads uh, for the bow and stern section. Well, I've pretty much got everything cut, so now it's time to really start gluing this thing together. I was shooting for a week and I'm going to hit it. So what I'm going to do is apply a stipple pattern of glue to this uh, overlap panel right here. I'm going to go ahead and shoot glue into this seam here inside my corrugations. Now I'm not going to use construction adhesive this time because I intend to build this entire boat in the office here. Construction adhesive doesn't smell good, so I can't do that. I'm going to go ahead though and try to get away with wood glue. I'm not too worried about it actually because once I paint and varnish this anyway it's gonna uh, do this seam, it's gonna make this seam waterproof anyway. So if this boat doesn't work I've only lost a week and I just build another one anyway. So no big deal there. I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna go all the way around and seal that essentially. Make a nice uh, glue gasket, so to speak. Then I'll use just a stipple pattern here to fill in the area. And now I'll let it dry. And now I'm going to glue the keel in place. Now I'll go do the same thing to the other side. <laughs> 